Hi, welcome to 52 Weeks of Angel Connection with Christy. And this was supposed to be live, but yeah, that didn't happen today. Darn it. So um, this is the day before Halloween. This is October 30th, 2020. And the train wreck of a year that we have come to know and love. And tomorrow's Halloween. So this is All Hallows Eve Eve. And tomorrow, Halloween is going to be extra special because not only do we have a full moon on Halloween, which is really cool, but it's a blue moon. And a blue moon is just the second full moon in a month. It doesn't happen all that often, so it's pretty cool. And we also have Mercury retrograde. So with all the technical difficulties that that entails. And we also have return to our regular time, so the end of daylight savings time. So this is gonna be an extra crazy Halloween. So in honor of such, I am bringing you Una, who is a Celtic deity. Una um, has kind of a funny spelling, O-O-N-A-G-H. Uh, whenever I think of Una, I always think of Una, uh, Una Chaplin. So uh, Charlie Chaplin's wife. And according to Doreen Virtue's big book of Archangels and Ascended Masters, Una does a lot of different things. She is um, very heavy in the elemental and fairy realm, which is why I think of her with Halloween, because don't we think of nature and return to all of the nature religions, such as paganism and Wicca and all of that with Halloween and the veil being very thin at this time. So according to um, Doreen Virtue, Una is from Ireland, a Celtic goddess. Una was married to Fionbar, the head, I'm sure I'm butchering that name, the head of the Tuatha de Danans, the inhabitants of Ireland before the Gaelics took over the land. The Tuathas became leprechauns after the invasion. Isn't that cool? Una was faithful and patient with her husband, even though he had many affairs with human women. Ladies, am I right? Bit of a pickle. In artwork, in artwork, Una is portrayed as having golden hair that's long enough to touch the ground. She's a goddess of devotion in love relationships, aesthetics, and magic. She's also a fairy queen. So see what I mean? Halloween is a time when, you know, things are kind of creepy and spooky yeah but we also are that much closer to nature we're that much closer to the natural realm the all of the things that come alive at night and this is certainly true of the fairy kingdom and these type of nature beings these nature sprites and divas and all the other nature beings they tend to come alive at night so fairies are no exception um, Una helps us with beauty and attractiveness. Of course, she is a queen. Hello. Dance and movement, fairy realm, divine magic. Great thing at this time of the year. Exercise and motivation. Couldn't we all use more? Contacting fairies and all aspects of love relationships. She's telling me now that, yeah, she had to be very patient with her husband, but he also had to be patient with her, that she also... Um, sought all types of relationships. All right. Um, she's also talking about same-sex relationships and just very, um, very, very open in her sensuality. Let's see if there's anything else that she wants us to know. She wants us to know that we are always in touch with the fairy realm. We just have to open our eyes and look around. And honestly, um, everything happening in the nature realm has to do with fairies and has to do with these nature beings. If you watch Tinkerbell movies, which, you know, I'm a mom of a of a girl. When she was little, we watched all the Tinkerbell movies. And in the Tinkerbell movies, they talk about how the fairies create the flowers and the buds on the trees and are responsible for all of these things happening in nature. And they're really not far off the mark. So Una, as a fairy queen, has to do with all of these. And she's wanting to just remind us that this magic, this realm is all around us at all times. So just pay attention, especially tomorrow night, we're gonna have a full moon on Halloween. If you're watching this past Halloween, that's okay. That's okay because there's full moons every month. 
So when we have a full moon, of course, we can stay out later and just enjoy the natural light and can observe everything that goes on after dark. It's quite fascinating. Um, let's see what else does Una have to say for us, have to offer for us. She says, oh, in this year of 2020, things are a little bit extra, extra spooky, extra special. Yes, we may not be, we may not be doing all of the things we typically do on Halloween night, but we still are subject to the, the pull of these energies. And because we're not doing the normal things that we typically do, these types of energies may feel even more amplified for us. So watch for that. Really, if you can spend some time tomorrow night quietly, outside in the moonlight if you can. I know I'm going to be sitting on my front porch drinking wine with my best friend and we're going to be enjoying the night. Um, so do enjoy this time. Enjoy everything that nature has to offer you right now. This year is challenging, but if we go inside, we find that we can drown out the distractions around us. All right. Well, that's it. That's Una, Celtic deity, fairy god, fairy goddess, fairy queen. All right. Till next week. See you and have a happy and safe Halloween. Bye.